Okay, so in order to prevent and stop the corruptions with any uh, companies in the world, uh, I recommend the three uh, most critical components of preventing the uh, uh, bribery and corruptions. And first and foremost, uh, in our practices, is awareness of the of the employees. Uh, that's very important because everyone needs to have a, a awareness that any wrongdoing is in violation of the company policies. So if they can constantly have that awareness, that actually can help them to uh, stop any wrongdoings. In order to do that, uh, our company's practices is to uh, train the people. And we actually train the people twice a year with uh, basically every company across the world. And every employee will be involved in the training process. So understand, so what is a clearly defined ethical protocol, so which is very important. Uh, and second of all, uh, the procedures must be put in place. A very robust procedure can always remind the people and always give the people the guideline what they can do, what they cannot do, uh, which is also very important. Uh, we have a very uh, clear defined procedures and every person has to sign up the procedures so they understand c clearly what is the procedure, uh, what the procedures are. Uh, and third very important component is the involvement of multidisciplinary people uh, for any of, uh, for example, for any of uh, uh, purchasing activities. There must be an involvement from a purchase manager, from a technical people, from a finance department. So at least in our practice, at least the three or five people have to be in involved in that process so that any of the uh, under-table discussion will be prevented. Uh, give an example in this, uh, in other companies, uh, so we heard, so one of uh, their uh, vi vice presidents of operations was involved in uh, taking a kickback from their suppliers. And that had been going on for a while without any discovery from the company. However, uh, because of late, de late de uh, payment, the supplier felt very uncomfortable and approached the company. And the whole story uh, was, uh, was public. Uh, therefore, we think certainly the, the VP of uh, operations uh, you know, had a warrant by the company and w was let go by the companies. So the, the brand of the company has been uh, heavily damaged as well. The people feel very unconfident in dealing with this company. Uh, so that lesson uh, give us a hint that we have to have a very robust procedures and people a process in, in place so that you know the proper the bribery and corruptions will be prevented.